morning guys I just want to do this post right somebody that talks a lot about mental health a lot of people probably watch the videos who suffer and they they probably think like they probably think oh he's probably fucking doesn't suffer blah 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 you know and people who suffer they really do struggle to get up I fucking struggle trust me I fucking struggle it's not fucking easy it's not fucking easy guys it's eight o'clock now I'm somebody over the last few years hasn't got up until fucking quarter to ten ten o'clock just don't want to fucking get out of bed guys you know I still don't now and it's not because I don't want to get up because I fucking oh, I can't be I physically don't want to get up and fucking do another fucking day do you know what I mean I don't want to fucking see another day that's how you feel you know life is tough I was gonna say it's been a tough few months I was gonna say it's been a tough few years it's been a tough fucking life let's be honest let's be fucking honest but don't fucking forget who you are don't forget what you've fucking done and what you've achieved shit doesn't always go as it's planned never fucking goes to plan let's be honest you know I'm somebody that's very critical I'm my own worst critic you know I've probably got loads of fucking people that hate me out there you fuckers ain't gonna fucking do anything to me that I don't do worse to myself so fucking don't worry guys um, you know my biggest enemy is myself and my own worst enemy and when you look back at the stuff you've achieved you know there's not many people that can fucking do that there's not so you know when I'm critical of my work I'm critical of myself I'm critical of my work to the point where I almost talk myself out of fucking doing it you know that's how critical I am and it's a blessing and a curse because it pushes me to want to do better and strive to do better but it also makes me feel like I'm not fucking good enough do you know what I mean and that's depression for you it's a weird fucking thing it's a weird fucking thing there's not many people that can fucking do the things you do though when you actually look at it and you know for me to say that it's taken a lot of realization you know and and these these patches this isn't the end of the patches i i've no you know there's a pattern there's a pattern and if it doesn't rain it pours everything comes at once everything gets on top of you you're always going to have that feeling of your head is being held under water but you know I feel like I'm coming up for fucking air at the minute I'm coming up for air and I'm ready to fucking take on the next step you know and that's all you can do right and it's one thing I can safely say is I have always been there and I've always done things the right way and tried to do the best by other people you know, more so than myself half the time because I end up making myself fucking ill trying to look after everybody else instead of concentrating on myself. And that's just the way I've always fucking been. And I bet everybody who's sort of similar is the same, really. You put other people before yourself and that's the problem. You're not giving yourself time. You're not giving yourself the respect you deserve. You know? I'm Look where I am now. I'm down here... I'm walking on the fucking track. Well, I say walking, I'm sitting down a minute. But eight o'clock in the morning, guys. I, I'm. It's, this is. Things are going to change. Things can't go on in the same fucking. Um, things can't go on the same way they fucking go in. And you know, you've got to remember who you are, that what you've done, what you've achieved. Fuck anybody else that wants to fucking doubt you or, or wants to fucking say anything. You know, what you've got to remember is what you've achieved, what you've done, you know, and keep turning up, keep turning up, keep, you know, if, if you look at, 
if I looked at where I am now with the tattoo fucking business, right? And somebody said to me, this is the track you've got to go down. These are the hours you've got to do. You've got to do these two jobs for this many years. You've got to do this. You've got to do that. I probably would have gone, fuck that. But just take every day. Every day. And then look back in a few years' time. And, and, and this is the thing. You know, I'm just telling you something to do with... This is just my story. Your story is going to be completely different. It will. Your story is going to be completely different. It's going to be chasing different dreams. It's going to be looking to achieve other things. But the what, something I'm going to have to learn to accept is I was ill because of, you know, a lot of the stuff. Life is hard. Life is fucking hard, guys. I was ill because of a fuck up with the doctors that's really pushed it to another level, to be honest with you. Um, which, you know, which I haven't really been right since. But I, th the disheartening part of it is, guys, is I thought I'd had the big crash and that was it. It's not, though. It's something that's obviously going to come back with stress, pressure, and a lot of other things, you know. But I can honestly say, with my hand on my heart, I have done everything I possibly fucking can to try and make everybody around me fucking happy. Right? I've done everything I can to provide and make sure I'm the rock that's always there. And that's the main thing. I've always been there. I've never, ever not been there for the people that fucking need me. So, that's, that's one thing I can honestly proudly fucking say, is I have always been there. And every decision I make is for the benefit and the best for the people around me. Nothing is ever fucking handed to you. Nothing is ever given. Nothing comes easy. Right? Keep turning up, guys. Keep doing what you're fucking doing. Keep showing up to the game. Because if you're not in the fucking game, how the fuck are you going to play? How are you going to play? I've nearly taken myself out of the game a few times, guys. I can tell you. Life isn't fucking... Life isn't enjoyable. It's fucking not. Look at the shit that's going on, guys. Look at what they're fucking doing to people. I've been screaming from the rooftops about what's going on with the government. What they're doing. To people who, where the depression is already through the fucking roof. I've been screaming it from the rooftops. No fucker listens. No fucker listens. And now everybody's fucking depressed and going through a fucking rough patch. Which is understandable. It's understandable. We are living in a dictatorship. You know, you may not still believe it, but you fucking are. The freedoms that they've taken aren't coming back. They never will. They've taken those freedoms and they'll, if they do come back, they're going to come with a price, guys. That's the, how the government works. But, yeah, they'll, this is where I am anyway. I'm on the train track. A fallen tree over the train track, by our luck. Just remember, guys, it's not always fucking sunshine and rainbows. I've beaten myself up way too fucking long. I beat myself up for too fucking long. There's not many cunts that can do what I fucking done. Right? There's not, there's not many fuckers. That'll, you know, the people that'll criticise. You cunts wouldn't walk in my fucking shadow. You cunts wouldn't walk in my shadow. Remember where you've come from. Remember the things you've done. Next time you criticise yourself, look at the people who are critical of you. What the fuck have they done? What the fuck have they done? They couldn't walk in your shoes. They couldn't fucking walk in your shadow. So, fucking hell, you know, the time's for beating yourself up, guys. Seriously. Look at the people. Look at the people that try and put you down and things like that. And then wonder... Wonder what the fucking thing is. Why, they, why, why you're being held down. Don't give up. Don't give up. Time to fucking... Time to fucking start getting rid of bad habits. Get, you know, I'm going in 
with bad intentions this time to get rid of bad habits and that's all I can say is I'm always there I'm always going to keep turning up I'm always going to be the reliable rock I've always been I'm always going to be there but I will always teach the right lessons and I will you know it's, that's what that's what a real fucking person does. A real person doesn't have to make up for lost time. A real person is always there. Always there, no matter what. So, you know, as everybody knows, my door is always open. I can't help people enough. I concentrate on other people more than I do myself. Which is probably my biggest mistake. But... I get a sense of fucking self-worth doing that when, I, when my self-worth is low. So the reward is there, you know. And what you'll find is people who suffer, a lot of these people who suffer, they're the most fucking helpful people out of anybody. So just remember the ones who are real. You can spot them a mile off. You can spot them a mile off. They're the ones who will literally help you even when they're struggling. You know, the ones who fucking turn their backs and don't want to fucking bother. They're not real. They're not the real ones. So, keep your eyes fucking peeled, guys, because... I'm, I'm, I'm fucking coming back with vengeance from this. I'm telling you. I'm coming back with vengeance. I'm The next push is going to be the furthest I've ever fucking gone. Because... If I fucking stop, and if I fucking give up, how fucking far am I going to go then? 